Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Hello and welcome to Looking at the Markets. Are we looking at the future of plant-based revolution, the revolution and the Amazon of plants maybe even? Is this a huge investing opportunity? We're going to find out today with Mr. Sean Dollinger, the founder of PlantX, available at plantx.com. Mr. Dollinger, welcome to Looking at the Markets, sir. Thank you for having us on, David. Yeah, I really appreciate the opportunity. And throughout this video, if people want to click on the link in the description below this video, you can go to plantx.com. And also for the stock, if you're interested, on the CSE exchange, it is Vega, V-E-G-A. On the OTC markets in the United States and elsewhere, it is PLT. XF. So plant X, boy, you know, this really is, I think, the Amazon of plants. I mean, look at all the things you could do at plantx.com. Uh, meals, groceries, and indoor plants delivered directly to your door. Uh, I, I'm just wondering what prompted you to go beyond just plant-based meals into indoor plant delivery. We really want it to be like your one-stop shop for everything plant-based. And when we founded this company in April, if you ever told me we'd be buying a, a, the leading plant subscription company in the UK, I would say uh, you have no idea what you're talking about. And, yeah. you know, here we are, um, you know, in December and uh, plant sales are through the roof, you know, uh, pre-COVID uh they were doing about three million dollars a year in revenue post COVID, a run rate of eight million next year, projecting 20 million. And it fits perfect. Like they said uh, originally when we started the conversation, uh, they put the plant in plant X. So it was a great fit. The putting the plant in plant X, I like that. And as a plant based retailer, plant X just opened in December uh, your first Canadian flagship store. Can you tell me about that? So we're always about dot-com technology e-com. I definitely don't want to confuse any viewers or any shareholders out there. That's our main objective. But yeah. if you think back to the days where Apple uh, went ahead and started with their uh, showrooms, it wasn't about selling their products as much as educating people on why uh, the Apple operating system was better for the Microsoft, you know, better than the Microsoft operating system. And that wasn't an easy uh, challenge, right? They uh, and, and they definitely won that one at the end of the day, taking full market share of, uh, you know, the, the residential uh, computer market. Uh, you know, so same thing with plant based living. Everybody's really curious. Everybody's really interested in this space, whether I speak to somebody who's 16 or somebody I speak to who's 90. They all have a story about, oh, I've tried going plant-based. Oh, I can't go plant-based because I'm hungry. Oh, you know, I don't want to eat all that pasta and bread, but there's so much more to a plant-based lifestyle. So we've taken the approach of being very welcoming, open-armed. We want people to give it a shot. We're not here to judge in any way. If you want to try it just for a day, you want to try it for a meal, that's what Plantex is all about. Yeah, we've seen the success of Chewy.com in the uh, pet market and zappos.com for shoes uh, i really believe that plant x could do with plant-based goods what those companies did uh, for their respective industries uh, but there there are other plant-based uh you know stocks that have gone up quite a bit uh, why would plant x be next in line for what i call hyper growth so it's funny that you uh, you bring up other companies and, uh, you know, that's what I've seen. You know, I have 20 years of specialty e-commerce expertise. And out of those 20 years, what I've realized, the only thing that could beat Amazon um, and Jet.com and the Walmart.com is specialty e-com. Mm. People want to go to like-minded individuals where they could actually get help and be educated on the products that are being sold on the platform. Uh, but back to your question about other plant-based companies, we've seen companies like the Very Good Butcher absolutely take off, Modern Meat take off, and all these others. And, you know, PlantX has been doing great. I think people really need to understand how we are the whole vertical. We are the whole industry. And somebody said it best to me the other day. They said, would you consider PlantX almost like an ETF? Because currently there's no ETF of the plant-based world, 
right? And, uh, you know, when I started thinking about that, it is. If you believe in plant-based living and that it's not a fad and it's here to stay like we do, um, you know, then we believe we are a fantastic uh, opportunity in the plant-based world. Yeah, definitely not a fad. It is here to stay, uh, especially in this uh, pandemic world where you know health is so important. And I've seen plant-based companies such as yours absolutely grow exponentially. In fact, uh, Plant X recently announced a deal with Hillcrest San Diego committing to, th- did I get this right, 30 million Canadian dollars of purchases? Is that correct? Yeah, that's, that is correct. And, you know, we, we haven't came out with a full quarter of reporting yet. You know, next month we'll come out with our, um, our final quarter of uh, 2020. And when I look at numbers, you know, from the Very Good Butcher, who I think they're doing a phenomenal job, and they're at about $700,000 a month from what I read in November, um, you know, we have kind of publicly gone out there already between a couple acquisitions we've made and what you just announced with Hillcrest, right? Uh, you know, we're, we're looking at almost $5 million a month, mm. right, of, of revenue. Um, and that's all publicly um, disclosed out there as far as uh, reading through different press releases, right? So, uh, yeah, Hillcrest, they've committed to $30 million in purchases in 2021, from us and that'll act as our flagship distribution center as well. So again, to go back to our goal at the end of the day, your one-stop shop for everything plant-based, we're e-commerce true at the heart. Um, However, we need somewhere um, to carry the products and distribute them. And that's where uh, Hillcrest comes in. So not only is it a storefront, not only is it an education center, but at the same time, it's a fulfillment center. Sure. And Plant X is not just a local phenomenon. It is going global, really. Uh, a huge vegan product store opening in Israel soon. When's that going to open? So in our raise, we did a non-brokered private placement of $11.5 million. Um, that was uh, just closed two weeks ago. And we had one of the leading investment houses in Israel with $50 billion U.S. dollars under management take mm-hmm. the lead order. It just shows you the interest out of Israel. As soon as we made the announcement, our emails got flooded, absolutely flooded with uh, the interest, the excitement behind what we're creating. And again, what we try to do in each geography is create this kind of flagship experience, which then acts as our franchise model, which then will allow us to have same day distribution throughout the, the countries. So, you know, we're going to be opening this shop in Tel Aviv. It's going to be a really cool experience with rooftop and just a fun place to go. But then again, it acts as the distribution center for Israel and then as well acts as a franchise model. So people could come in, see what it's all about and then go ahead and join the plant based movement. Yeah. And I definitely believe in that movement. Uh, I want to talk money, though, because investors, prospective investors want to know, like, what are your sales projections for 2021, for example? So without any future acquisitions and uh, general growth uh, through Bloombox, as well as the Hillcrest and the Squamish location, and we haven't factored Israel into this number at all yet. Uh, we've gone on record stating that we'll do anywhere from 50 to $70 million in revenue. Hmm. And if we um, do things right, there's even a chance that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll really work hard towards profitability. Yeah. And uh, I want to talk about commitment to the company. Is there a record of insider ownership uh, with PlantX right now? Yeah. So uh, I participated in the last finance for uh, the second to the lead uh, of a $550,000 order. I uh, converted all my debt originally into the company as well. Hmm. So, uh, you know, I've had extremely successful companies in the past. My last company went from 6 million to 1.3 billion in a year and a half. Uh, The stock went from 11 cents to $4.40. And, um, you know, uh, this is something that I'm absolutely passionate about. You know, when I finished my last company, it was kind of like, do I want to go start a charity? Do I want to do anything in plant based living was very close to me for the last 10 years. I've lived a plant based lifestyle. I've lost 60 pounds, Hmm. uh, which was 30 percent of my body weight. And I figured, you know, I thought to myself, what would be more rewarding than allowing people to live a longer, healthier, 
better quality of life. That's fantastic. I, I really appreciate what you're doing with this company. Again, I've been speaking with Mr. S- uh, Sean Dollinger, founder of Plant X. Please go visit plantx.com. I'll put a link in the description below this video. If you want to check out the stock on the CSE Exchange, Vega, V-E-G-A, on the OTC markets, PLT. XF. Uh, Mr. Dollinger, is there anything else you want to tell my viewers about Plant X and why they should consider owning the stock now? You know, I think we're in the most exciting space out there. I love what we're doing. We're forming partnerships every day. Uh, by not being a brand, everybody's our partners. And uh, with that, I want to wish everybody a very Happy and healthy holiday, and uh, we love finishing our our vodcasts with "Stay curious, stay planted, stay healthy." Yeah, St- and uh, stay invested. If you really believe in this company, uh, that is the way to go, Mr. Dollinger. We'll have to catch up with you when I believe this uh, stock is going to be much higher. In my personal opinion, uh, thank you, Mr. Dollinger, for joining me on looking at the markets. Thanks again, David. Have a good one.